Hello everybody, welcome to Vicious Rants. This is For Honor. C come rant with me. Today I am trying to play For Honor. And I do mean trying because it doesn't work sometimes. So here's a good example of daily orders. So you've got your daily orders, these are the two things you can do, and these are your contract orders. These are things you can do depending on what game modes you like to play or uh, to kind of challenge yourself. And you equip them to these three slots. And I don't know if you can hear it, but this is me pressing the button to equip them. I can unequip that one and equip one other, but they will only go into my third slot. Um, I wish I'd captured this earlier, but... Uh, I had a leftover contract, because as long as you have it equipped, it won't go away. You can keep working towards it. If it's one of your favorite modes, but it's like kill 300 minions or uh, soldiers in a match or o over several matches, and you're at like 298, but you've got to go to work or go to bed or what have you, you can hold on to it. And even though those contracts have expired, as long as you have it equipped, you can keep it. So I had a contract from yesterday equipped in my third slot. And now I can't equip more than one contract. It will only let me take this one off. And um, luckily it was the contract that I had left over was something, it was for a mode that I don't really like. But now can't do anything else. Now, so that doesn't work. Let's check that out. This, this is the home page for four. All of the on the right here is advertisements for the game that you already um, including go to the feet page of the or click here to visit the store and purchase packs. You can or steal by purchasing packs. Now what does steal get you? First, let's look at um, the cost. So five dollars for five thousand US, uh, eleven hundred for nine ninety nine. So you're getting a little bit uh, of a cost efficiency there instead of uh, ten thousand for ten dollars, essentially. So and it goes up from there, just like a lot of games where you can buy things. Um, the more you you're willing to spend. By the way, that is a hundred fucking dollars US. To get the best value. Um, best deal. A hundred fucking dollars. This is a $60 game, mind you. This is $59.99, brand new off the shelf. $60. And you can spend an extra hundred to get this. And, and that's for, like, the regular edition. I don't know if there's a, a special that costs more. Or just, like, do bonuses. But that's what you can do. Now, what does Steel get you? Well, for that, let's go to Customize, and we'll look at the heroes. So, we'll go to my Orochi. This is what you can do with your Steel. You can buy packs. So, this will give me three random pieces of gear. Um, one of higher level. This is if you only want armor, because you like where your weapon's at, or maybe you like where all your armor's at, but you want a uh, weapon item and then you have premium 500 now is this just cosmetic you might be asking yourself no no it's not this is what gear gets you so i'm going to do a hero overview so you can see my armor rank um and this gives me stat bonuses so with real world money i can buy 150,000 steel which i can then use to buy gear that will then make me better in the game now granted this is a very skill based game and I say that lightly this is hypothetically a very skill based game but you can pay to have better gear and better stats you can't upgrade your gear without faction specific stuff like at the bottom left you'll see Orochi uh, 10 out of 60 gear inventory and 369 the 369 is my salvage you have to dissemble um, things that you got 
in order to get salvage. However, if you spend a hundred real world dollars, you get 150,000 steel, which means you're guaranteed to get some low quality items that you then dismantle for salvage that you then turn into upgrades. So you can get a whole bunch of high level gear um, and then upgrade it. Now I will say this, in the game's defense, there is a cap to this. Um, notice my Orochi has a bunch of level 7 stuff, now, but he's also reputation 1, which is indicated by the wreath and the 1 on it. And my Valkyrie, you'll notice, has... Um, oh, let's... Hero Overview. Armor Rank. So everything's gray, not blue. That's because I'm not at uh, level 21, which makes you... Uh, reputation one so there is a limit to it but you could hypothetically at level one just pick a character throw a whole bunch of buy a whole bunch of packs and then upgrade all that gear to level six no problem like uh, bottom right the astenvik head is a common item but i've upgraded it to level six so it's more powerful than it would be if it were level one or two so you do have to put in work before you're going to be able to get that that uh, blue 42, <laughs> um, that blue 42 underneath uh, my loadout is my rank. I have a 21 armor rank and a 21 weapon rank. That's what that means. But that is dangerously close to pay to win. Pay for advantage. Not necessarily pay to win, but the fact that you can spend real world money. Um, to buy gear that makes you better and gives you better stats is ridiculous. But let's look at the game itself. Multiplayer. So we already know the order. Um, I don't get to choose these, by the way. These are they expire. It's going to keep giving me an exclamation point. I need to do this, but it's not going to actually let me equip anything. There are no event orders because functionality hasn't been implemented so the most popular mode is dominion it says very high activity Let's see what very high is. i want you to watch under searching for players it's going to say my region preferred mode my language and strict meaning i should only get paired with people next to my skill level and this is very high activity so this is the most activity that i could have um, for a mode. I've never seen anything above very high activity. Now player skill is extended and we're searching all regions. And that is an error. Matchmaking failed. Returning to main menu. This is the reason I decided to start broadcasting today. I wasn't going to do it this early because uh, I'm still asleep. I but this, this is the crux of the problem with the game. Is Yes, there's a single player. Um, I can try and play against AI, but it's it may or may not pair me with actual bots. Like, I think if you really, really wanted to, you could um, you could set up a custom match and just play with bots. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But yesterday, it couldn't connect to the Ubisoft servers. And it wouldn't even let me leave the main. So I couldn't have even hypothetically I could be single player because every time I try I hit A to start game, go to just this screen, just that could not screen because it could not uh, connect to the Ubisoft servers, and that one minutes, and then it kind of corrected itself. Um, I'm gonna try again because I want you to see. Um, what the game looks like, if you haven't already, I'm, I'm sure almost everyone's been exposed to this game uh, on some level by now. It was pretty big release. Um, and it actually says on the box, requires internet. So if you, say, like me, moved recently or and you didn't have internet right away, you couldn't play your game at all because it has to connect to the Ubisoft server in order to even log in to the main menu and play single. So I found a session. Network error. Huh. That's weird. 
Bear in mind, it's not my internet. Look, Cool Guy Inc. has joined the session that I've been kicked out. Of. So it was Matthew nineteen ninety. Welcome, welcome to the session, guys. Hey, joined it. And BJJ has joined the session. So this this is their their flagship um, IP. Um, it's searching all regions. Now it only says high activity. I wonder why that is. Extended. And pretty soon it's going to go to all skill ranks. Like, meaning that you could go up against um, Dex Bonus or Dodgers um, friend Sam, and who was like ranked one in the world during the beta, and you could get destroyed by him. And there'd be nothing you could do about it because it can't find people. And that is kind of the issue right now is you can't play it. I want you to I want to point out there's the season pass, and it's for a, like the the first year forty extra dollars, forty extra dollars for something that may come out or something that's gonna throughout the year. It says season pass year one. It's not a season pass. It's a year. Um, so you may get all of this within the next you know three months or which is what you know a season would indicate or you might get none of it um, until the end of next year or the end of this year and there may not even be people playing. Now it says very high activity. We're going to try one more time and then I'm going to just cut the stream, play something else, um, maybe stream something else. But because I kind of want you to see the peer to peer matchmaking. This is a rant. Don't get me wrong. This is not necessarily a gameplay video. I would like it to be, but right now it's just a rant. Um, the peer to peer matchmaking. So I showed you the orders uh, that don't work or aren't working. And. If you say mine right now says I have to execute a certain number of people, a certain number of people, by the way, there are modifiers. You cannot change these. You can do a custom match and turn gear stats off, but you can't like set your dominion settings to be, because I don't mind cosmetics. I love cosmetics, but who we um, I don't mind the cosmetics. I just don't like. Oh, everyone's disconnected. Is that accurate? I have no idea, what guys. This is kind of. But get three positions, and in this match, the host appears disconnect. It will count none of it. No one gets. And accomplish any of their objectives. It's just dead, and you start, and that happens. Um, sometimes you get killed because the game will freeze to shift server responsibilities to a player, and you know, on top of that, it really depends on who connects first. Is my assumption. Everybody on my team has a little speaker next to them. Um, I'm going to guys the options menu here in a when this... Um, actually, I'm going to show it now. Can. So this is your options. This is your audio. Voice chat mode, by default, is enabled. By default. This focused new IP from Ubisoft has the audio settings muted by default. You have to turn fix it. Holy poop, I loaded and then a connection error occurred. Well, that's for honor. I was really hoping that my title for this video, A Tale of Fail, to um 
not being but I don't know what else to tell you I really don't this like I want to recommend this game I like the con I that there's some depth to it there's some things that I could rant about on that end um but I'd like to show it to you in action so you can kind of get an idea of why it's good or why it's bad or if I'm full of crap or not. Um, you can kind of see it for yourself. Although, saying see it for yourself is somewhat of a erroneous term because you can't see my controller inputs. You can't see what I'm doing. So you really only have my word. If I say, like, no, I really hit a button... You've really only got my word, and so that's not ideal. You'd you'd have to get your hands on it. Maybe they'll do a free weekend like they did with Rainbow Six Siege, where they're just like, no, seriously, it's better now. Come back, and that's where I'm stuck. Is right now it's um playable. I was playing it for like a good two hours before I started streaming. Don't get me wrong, it works occasionally, and the occasionally is the issue. This is the first couple weeks for this infant IP and this is what people are getting. I'm going to try one thing and I'll be right back.